Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Alright, let's keep up appearances. Oh boy. Woman's voice. I have a guess who it is. What, may I inquire, are you doing at this late hour? Hi, Captain. Ah. Ha ha ha. Captain Almathea. <laughs> Good evening. I realize that you've been invited here, but don't you think it a bit late for you kids to be out wandering around? Please pardon us. We've simply never been in a castle like this and we couldn't resist the urge to take a look around. Oh, that's certainly understandable. So, where were you half an hour ago? Please enlighten me, if only for my own edification. Ah. Uh, Kitchen, maid quarters, administrative room, rural guard room, the cellar. Hmm. We can say not these three. We can say we were in the kitchen. Oh, that's strange. I was making my rounds through there and I never saw you. Darn it. Well, come, let's not waste time on games. Actually, I've received reports of you going in and out of the maid quarters several times. Darn it. So I bet it didn't matter what we chose. She was going to get us anyway. Do you not think it a bit odd to be looking around be looking around in that particular place? What? You don't think that questioning someone like that when you already have the facts is a little cruel? <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. Of course you would. So, what business have you in the maid quarters? I suggest you answer honestly. Well, we... Uh, who's that? Oh, Zane, what's up? Zane? You okay? Drink. Oh, now that's the stuff. You're drunk. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Hey, if it ain't my favorite gorgeous officer lady. Nice. Some luck that we meet up again, eh? I suppose. So, what's going on? Are my students here causing any trouble? So students? No, it's just that they were in the maid quarters for a while. I merely wanted to know their business, simply as a security precaution. Hmm, yeah, I totally get ya. I just sent them off to find some much eats to go with my booze. Hey, Joshua, you kids find anything to eat? No, the cooks aren't back yet, I guess. We went to ask the maid if there was anything we could get our hands on something, but no luck. <sighs> oh well, I'll have to do without, I guess. Hmm? Hey, I just had a great idea. You wanna come and join me for a drink? I mean, hey, nothing goes with drinks like a beautiful lady. I I'm afraid I'm busy, so I'll have to decline your generous offer. My apologies for the misunderstanding. But I would advise you to return to your room and remain there for the rest of the night. I have to investigate any suspicious activity you understand. Uh, of course. It is late, so we should probably just get to bed. <laughs> Very good then. Now, if you'll excuse us. Bye. Whew. Too close. Ah, uh, denied. <laughs> Poor Zane, he was in fact denied. Oh well, might as well just go back to the room. Right. We'll go with you, yeah. <sighs> Looks like we managed to convince her at least. What? Zane's no fool, come on. Zane, you aren't drunk? Oh, of course not. I was acting drunk. I haven't had a single drop. No way! Your face had gone all red! He focused on making his blood circulate better, 
which made it look like it was intoxicated. Super impressive! It's done with some kind of Eastern martial arts breathing exercise, right? Hmm, huh. surprised you're familiar with it. But hey, you seem to be in a tight spot, so I figured I'd distract everyone. Zane, you are amazing, thank you. Nice, huh? Saved your bacon, as the saying goes? Yes, yes you did. Huh, you're an evil, evil man, Zane. Okay, sure, you did help us out, but you also surprised the hell out of me. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, what's the story? Huh? What story? I would have thought it'd be obvious. The story of you meeting with the Queen. I Again, Zane's got this. Whoa, wait, what? How did you... Did L tell you something about this? Actually, I couldn't get him to tell me anything. But now I know anyway, don't I? Hmm... Without prior knowledge, there's no way you could have just guessed. So how much do you really know? <laughs> I guess it's finally time to show you this. Letter from his pocket and handed it to Estelle and Joshua. What's this? I know this handwriting. Well, don't just stand there. Read it. It'll explain a lot. Okay. Dear Zane Vathek, I hope this letter finds you well. I know I've been out of touch. I'm in a hurry, so I hope you'll pardon my bluntness. My work concerning the Jaeger Corps is leading me into Imperial territory. However, due to the fact that unusual forces seem to be influencing matters inside Liberal, I feel uneasy being absent for so long. This is why I must ask a favor of you. Could I persuade you to come to Liberal and help out if they need it? Since you haven't been to Liberal before, perhaps you could think of it as a recreational trip. There's a martial arts competition before the Queen's birthday celebration, and foreigners can participate. It would make fine camouflage. I realize this is sudden, but if you could do it, I would be most grateful. I'm intending to return to Liberal before the festival, so hopefully we'll be able to have a drink together when I return. Cassius Bright. P.S. You may have the chance to meet my son and daughter! They're currently apprentices at the guild, so if you happen to meet them, feel free to test the extent of their training. Try not to bail them out too much, unless it seems like they really need it. <laughs> Which we did, so thanks, Zane. I... So, Dad actually asked you to come to Liberal. Which means he's in Urbonia now. That's the long and short of it. The long and short of it? What it means is that you were in cahoots with them all along! That's kind of a nasty way to put it, don't you think? I owed Master Cassius a favor from the time he spent in Calvert. Master Cassius! <laughs> this letter just gave me the chance to make a square again. I suppose. When did you realize we were his kids? I had a feeling from the outset, once I saw Estelle's techniques with the bow staff. I asked Kalika about it, and that confirmed it. It would have been nice if you'd said something about it at all. We've been worried sick, wondering where Dad's been. I know, and I'm sorry I haven't said anything. But I got the impression from the letter that he was trying to keep his whereabouts a secret. Still, you're definitely his kids alright, if you can pull off a job as big as sneaking in an audience with the Queen. True enough. I, I suppose so. He knows this much. Wouldn't hurt to tell him everything, right? It'd be good to have him on our side. I agree. Probably be best to fill Zane in on everything. Yeah, he's... Cassius trusted him enough to do this. I think we can... And considering how much he's helped us so far, we can definitely trust Zane enough. For sure. It is a bit far-fetched to say that we could put an end to this whole situation on our own, after all managed to speak directly with the Queen, as well as the Queen's request to safely rescue Princess Caldea. I see. I thought something seemed a little off when everyone was talking at the party. Alright then, I'll help you out with that little request. Awesome. What? You will? Yep. I think this is the ideal opportunity to settle my debt to Master Cassius. Please, let me help. We'd be glad to. Thank you, once again. Awesome!
What is this place? I never would have imagined something like this even existed. What do we got here? Fancy ruins? <laughs> it's larger than I expected. Lieutenant Lawrence, if you'd be so kind as to show us the way to the lowest level. Yes, sir. Hmm? Uh-oh. Whoa. Is that some kind of mechanical monster? Well, well. So this must be... Arch... Arch... Arches... Arch Let's see, it'd be like... Organisms... Archisms? Ar Archaisms? Archisms. We're gonna go with archisms. Owned! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... That should be the, uh... The proper reaction. Colonel Richard just drew from the blade and then resheathed it. If he uses, uh... If he uses that fighting style, then... Man, that... I, I love that fighting style. Uh... And then, of course, I forget the name. Uh... E, uh... Iado, uh, oh, man, that's what happens, you know, when when you're recording. Of course, things like that happen. Anyway, I love that style. It's basically where you uh, draw the sword from the sheath. He took out that thing in one stroke. <laughs> you were the quickest to react. You are indeed truly a force to be reckoned with when you don't hold back. You flatter me, sir. Your quick draw technique as well was quite remarkable to behold. I can see that you've studied under the Divine Blade himself. I love quick the quick draw technique with the sword. You know, drawing from the sheath. It's awesome. I'm a huge fan of it. Damn it, Richard. Why do you have to know it? <laughs> That means Cassius can do it. I want to see him do it, even though he'll fight with the bow staff. I want him to get, like, angry enough to where he'll pull a sword and just, just go. I want to see him fight! <laughs> I am humbled. <laughs> I still have a ways to go before I can really humble anyone, I'm afraid. But, time waits for no man. The skills I possess now will have to be enough. My strength may be meager. But I must forge this kingdom's future with my own two hands. My brave men, the way to the ultimate power is open. A bright new dawn approaches for our beloved liberal. I expect only the best of each of you. By your order, sir. We of the special ops will work as one for the colonel. For the glory of liberal! FOR THE GLORY OF LIBERAL! Uh-oh. That wasn't good. I understand the situation. You've both performed admirably. I'm amazed that you were able to deliver the professor's message to Her Majesty in person. <laughs> we just got lucky is all. The real question is, how much longer is luck going to be on our side? Yes, we're really going to have to stay focused. If you understand that already, then there's nothing more that I need to tell you. In any case, we can consider Professor Russell's request to be fulfilled. Please, accept this as compensation for a job well done. Receive payment for 2 Queen Alicia. 20,000 Mira, 10 BP, plus an additional 8. That brings us to 307. And our advancement to Junior Bracer First Class. We're now the top of the Junior Bracer ranks. Received Gladiator Belt accessory as a perk. Now then, Zane. It was pure providence that Cassius invited you here. We need the help of an A-ranked Bracer like yourself. No need to even ask. Even if I didn't have a debt to repay to Cassius, I couldn't possibly stand by idly in a situation like this. I'm with you until the end. I knew we could count on you, Zane. By the way, what's this A-rank business? Yeah, I'm curious myself. 
It's a rank that signifies a full-fledged bracer's full power. Ah, neat. There are seven ranks, ranging from G on the bottom up to A at the top. Oh, wow, so Zane's a, a top rank bracer. Like, period. That's impressive. That's cool. So, even, so the uh, uh, full-fledged, so you have the junior bracer ranks, which signify their progress, and then the full-fledged bracers have their ranks as well to show just how powerful they are. So, so he's the highest rank you can get? Wow, I never knew you were such a badass, Zane. <laughs> well, I may be A-ranked, but I'm still an underling, so to speak. There are 20 A-rankers across the continent. Oh, wow. But above that, there's an informal S-rank. Ah, so, like, the best of the best. Like, everybody knows who's, like, better. And, of course, I bet Cassius tops that list. That one's only granted to bracers who successfully resolve issues on a national scale. And there are only four of those on the entire continent. Wow, I'm not even sure I want to think about what they can do. Uh, your dad's one of them. <sighs> you really don't know any of the stuff, do you? One of those four is Master Cassius. Huh? What? Okay, Joshua, you're not going to tell me you knew about this already, right? Right? <sighs> Sorry, but yes, I did. He solved a major case for the Republic about five years ago. I swear, it's hardly worth even getting upset about it anymore. Royal Army Soldier, Hidden Hero, Divine Blade, S-Rank Bra S Bracer... I, seriously, your dad is awesome. I want to see him in action. If he's really so damned awesome, then it sure would be nice if he'd come back and take care of this case. <laughs> you may be right. If he were with us, perhaps this would never have escalated to the point where a coup d'etat was even possible. Hmm. Joshua, what's wrong? Just thinking about how strange this is. This whole chain of events apparently started with Dad going off on his trip. It's as if whoever planned the coup was waiting for him to be gone. Of course they were! The way everybody sings Cassius' praises. You know. No, if he's here, the plan immediately fails. That, that's, that's what I'm understanding. So we're going to wait for him to be gone. At least, that's just the impression I have. No, that is now the impression I have too. Again, all aboard the hype, ta the hype train for Cassius Bright. <laughs> oh. So what you're saying is that the who was planned around his departure for the Empire? Am I correct? No, I'm sure that'd be overthinking things. I can't think of anyone who could possibly manipulate Dad like that without him noticing he's being used. Hmm. They'd have to know him and his behavior patterns as exceptionally well to be able to pull it off. Colonel Richard. Hmm, well, yeah. I never knew what he was up to, even though he was so close. I don't think that Colonel Richard could have ever managed to pull the wool over his eyes. More likely, it's just that two major events happen to overlap with each other. Regardless of the, cir regardless of the circumstances, we cannot currently rely on Cassius to help. Therefore, I am resolved to prepare for the worst. I believe an emergency conference of the Graysel, of the Gransel branch of the Bracer Guild is called for. Huh? All other things being equal, we have a request that comes directly from Her Majesty, the Queen. The third article of the Bracer Code states that we shall never act in a fashion that interferes with the government. We cannot ignore Her Majesty's request, however, so we must act. But we're no match for the Royal Army as we are. I ask the cooperation of all bracers in Gransel, including Zane, of course, who's an a rank. Oh, okay. If we come in conflict with the Intelligence Division, we'll need all the help we can get. Ideally, we should have the cooperation of other branches. 
but the checkpoints have been completely sealed off as of today. So we're on our own. Yeah, to foil any potential terrorist activity. Yeah, how convenient. What? So basically it amounts to martial law. So the enemy is finally moving at full tilt. Yes, it would appear so. This may be to stifle any activity on the part of any rural guardsmen in hiding, as well as ourselves. If we're going to conduct a, re a rescue operation, we'll have to do it with the resources on hand. Oh, fun. But we're up to it. So, do we have a solid idea of where the prisoners are being held? That's been on my mind for a while now, actually. I believe the most likely place is to be the Herb Royal Villa. That's the building in the forest, right? It would make sense. If the soldiers are using it under the pretense of counterterrorism, few would question it. I can't imagine they'd want to lock a lady of the royal family in a cell in Leston Fortress. Considering it's the army we're going to be going against here, I'd like a more solid confirmation, however. If we assaulted the wrong place, we'd have hell to pay for it. Yes, precisely. But in either case, we must assemble any bracers currently in the royal city. Could I ask you to assemble them here for me? Any information you could gather while doing so would be much appreciated. If I'm not mistaken, Estelle, you and your friends are acquainted with the reporter, correct? Oh, you mean no? Yeah, we should see if he picked up anything significant. True. Also, we must attempt to enlist the aid of the guardsmen who are in hiding. Oh, true enough, too. They'd help a lot. Well, we can ask Julia. If you could get them to contact me, it would be greatly appreciated. So in other words, we need to get in touch with Sister Julia. She helped us with the invitation before, so we should let her know what's going on. Definitely. Off to the cathedral then? There are four other bracers in the city. Kurt, Grant, Karna, and Annalis. Check the bars in their usual hangouts. They may also be in the hotel. If you see them, please instruct them to come back here. So we'll have seven bracers, some hidden guardsmen, and whatever information Nal can dig up. I'm feeling good about our chances. Sure thing. I, uh, yo, Joshua and Estelle, who are real close to being full-fledged bracers. I mean, they're the top of the rank of junior bracers now, and all they need is this recommendation. We have an A rank bracer, and then, uh... Karna, whatever, Karna, Kurt, and all of them, whatever they are. All right, then off we go. All right, let's round up the crew. Anything else? Nope. Uh, just to see. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, I never went over the gladiator headband. This was in the sewer. Uh, plus five strength, minus five defense, but 10% uh, more CP. Gladiator belt. Plus 10 strength, minus 10 defense, auto CP up. Uh, motivating belt, CP automatically recovers during battle. Huh. This will work. This will work for now. I may switch things up. But that will work for now. Alright, let's uh, take a look. Um, I doubt you have anything new. Battle staff, no, no. Shield coat, nope. Let's see. Um, who would be closest? Well, I guess we can go to the, uh, we can go gather, we can go get our uh, information source. Did I save? Let's save. <laughs> save. This is weird, Chief. We haven't heard anything in two days. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, he does tend to get completely wrapped up when he's looking for the next big story. Given how close we are to a state of martial law, I don't like much that he hasn't contacted us either. Uh-oh. That's not good. Hello, Dorothy. Pardon us. Oh, it's you. Perfect timing. Good afternoon. We're here to talk about Nall, but I'm guessing he's not around? 
That's what we're here. That's what we were just talking about. Actually, Null has it shown up here today or yesterday. Huh? Yesterday or today. We spoke with him in the evening two days ago. Really? What do you mean, really? You gave us the message to meet him for Adeos' sake! We came here to talk to him after the semifinals. All right, now that you mention it. Uh, Dorothy. Where he was going? Uh, let's see. Uh, someone had just called him, as I remember. Right, I remember what happened. He got a call from someone, and then he said he had to leave. Serious? Yes. We haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. Yeah. But it dead? I don't think he's dead. Let's hope he's not dead. What? Who said he was dead? Today's when all the airliner traffic gets shut down. Everything was normal yesterday, though. Maybe he went to another province? No sign of him. Uh, so he's somewhere around. Hmm. You two were the last ones to see this reporter fellow. Weren't you talking to him about something for a news article? Huh? These are the times we live in. Controlling the media is a big deal for the military. What do you think, Chief? Yeah, I can't argue with that. Particularly in the case of the Intelligence Division. They monitor and censor everything we do. Wouldn't believe how frustrating it is. Oh, I can believe. Which means that you can't get much information for your stories. But it's in a reporter's nature to want to get as much as possible into the hands of the readers. I see. So I went to check out a new subject that the Intelligence Division hasn't started censoring yet. What was the last thing he told us about? I think it was about... Julian and his history... Tournament winners... He talked about this, but, uh... He, I think that he, like, mentioned this and then he got that, uh, that phone call. Around. I think it was an arranged marriage, right? And the Duke mentioned something about it at the dinner party. Oh, and I told you about that too? It'd make a hell of a story if it's true. He mentioned having to get some evidence at any cost. How did a reporter like Nall even learn about something like that? I'd have thought that something like that would have been known only to the royal family. Well, he did say he's friends with someone who works in the Herb Royal Villa. Completely off the record, but the terrorists are supposedly after the princess. So she's secretly staying in the villa for her own safety. Ah, now we know! I knew it! Huh, and the veil is lifted. Maybe the person he was talking to was his friend in the villa. Which would mean that Nal's probably there too. If I knew Nal, he'd probably try to worm his way in for an interview with the princess. And if the soldiers saw him, they'd have arrested him on the spot. Well, we're gonna have to bail him out, too. Nah, fine. Why do you keep coming back to that? Yeah, do you want him to die? Jeez. But if he has been arrested, getting him out isn't gonna be easy. Yeah. I'm betting that he and the he and Princess Claudia are pretty much in the same situation. What exactly do you people know? You have any inf inside information of what's going on in the city? In all of Liberal? Sorry, but we can't really talk about it. Just let the Bracer Guild take care of Null. If he has been arrested, we'll see to it he's been he's released. Alright? Please do whatever you can. We will, Dorothy, don't worry. Leave it to us. Okay, now our destination is for sure set. Let's um Uh Uh, the Septon Church is right here. Let's speak to a uh, Sister Julia. Hi. Uh, yes, Sister Ellen. We're in the second room to the southeast of this room. Thank you. No, not here. Kind of look like here. Who might you be? Um, we're um members of. Uh, the Bracers. Uh, the Bracer Guild, I mean. We're looking for a Sister Ellen? Who are you now? Might I guess that you share complicity with her, then? With a nun? Ew, no! 
He's asking if we know her real identity, Estelle. <laughs> we're here with the information she asked us to find. Yeah, we're with you, Archbishop. I'm sorry to say she's no longer at the cathedral. She came to say goodbye to me this morning and left. Darn. Where to? I mean, do you know where she might have gone? If only I did. I've been close with the royal family for many years. She's always regarded me as a friend and confidant. But this time she refused to give me any details. Hmm. I see. She had the light of hope in her eyes as she departed. I'm confident she was not running away to wallow in despair, but for a more noble cause. Well, that's good at least. But the thing is, we kind of need her to stay in touch with the rural guardsmen. Well, begging for rain in the desert only gets you sand. We should probably go. Best thing we do is covertly keep an eye out for other rural guardsmen. Not the most efficient plan, but seems to be all we've got. You seem to be between a rock and a hard place, as they say. Always remember that Odeus helps those who help themselves. Do all that you can, and Adeus will surely take care of the rest. Honest and hard work will always lead you down the right path. Well, thank you, Archbishop. Darn. Well, that unfortunately didn't, uh... Didn't pan out. Boy, having the Royal Guardsmen would help a lot. Um, well, I guess the only other thing we can do now is find uh, find the bracers. Um, said the inn, right? South Block. We can try or the hotel. We can try the hotel. See if we can find anybody. Anybody? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> this is the room we're staying in. No. Oh, hey! It's Kurt! I wish I could remember that time a little better. It's like there's a thick fog blanketing the whole thing. Ah! Oh, hi, Kurt! Good to see you here. Hi, Estelle. Hi, Joshua. Oh! Zane's with you, too? Didn't you know that we were going to that dinner party at the castle yesterday? That was when these two rookies took on a pretty major assignment. What major assignment? I think it's best if we tell you more or less the whole story. All the circumstances! Uh, you're serious? Of course we are. That's why we really need your help. No, that's not it. I admit I'm shocked at Her Majesty's request of you. But the black ornament that the colonel has, it's real. Kurt? What's wrong? You look awfully pale. Uh, ah! Ah! Oh, what in the world? Step away from him. Huh? <sighs> Shade! Lift! was that? You didn't even touch him, and he acted like he got electrocuted. To spirit, it's a special spirit channeling breath technique. It allows the user to have directly affect the target's body without direct physical contact. I don't normally like to be so rough, but time isn't exactly on our side. How are you feeling? <sighs> wow. Actually, a lot better. I can't remember every detail, but a good bit of it's coming back. I'm a little unsteady from the shock, but I think I'll be alright. What do you remember? Didn't I say before? 
There was an accident around three months ago. You lost your memories while you were working, right? Yes, someone had asked me to check up on those men in the black outfits. And then I took something suspicious from them. It was the black orbment. <gasps> so the person who gave you the assignment? Yes, it was your father, Cassius. I wasted no time in packaging it up and sending it to him. So you're the one who sent it to him. Oh, but that's really as far back as I can remember. So the K on that package was you, Kurt. Ah, yes. I think I also remember there being a note that said to have Professor Russell analyze it. Oh, so Kurt, Kurt knows this is all this is all legit. I get it. The package was delivered to you two. Do you remember anything after that? Anything that happened after you sent off the package? Yes. After I left the port, someone called out to me. And then... No good. All still one big blur. You're probably best not... You're probably best off not pressing your luck. It's likely to just cause strain that you can't handle yet. Yes, alright. I'm really just amazed that I was remember, able to remember anything at all. Which brings us to a bigger question. Who would have done this? Maybe those special op guys? It's possible. They did use that nasty poison on a gate after all. It's as if they're manufacturing and testing new drugs. Maybe they've made something to cause memory loss. Ah, uh, now there's a cheerful thought. Plus, there's the Sky Bandits boss and Mayor Dalmore to consider. We have to be really careful. I'm sorry. I don't have anything really useful to tell you. I know what Her Majesty asks you to do. I want to help, if you'll let me. Welcome aboard! But, are you sure you'll be okay? Sure. My memory may still be like a sieve, but physically I'm fine. I owe you for your help. So please, allow me to make it up to you. If you're feeling up to it, sure. We need to work out a strategy. For now, let's meet back at the guild. Alright, you have my thanks. Awesome. That's... That's Kurt we have on our side now. That'll help a lot. Um... Save here. And I'm gonna end this episode. Next time, we're gonna uh, find the rest of the bracers. I think I'll do some uh, searching off screen and meet you at the next person I managed to find. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Had a lot of fun. I'm Cinderay9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.